May is Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month and also Skin Cancer Awareness Month. Dr. Des Mauricio, board certified dermatologist and founder of M Beauty, joins Fox 5 to dispel the myth that the AAPI community is not prone to getting skin cancer and to talk more about some of the common skin conditions that people of AAPI ethnicity suffer from. Uh, Dr. Tess, thank you so much Hi, for joining Maria. us. Happy AAPI Month. <laughs> yes, I came in with uh, you know our traditional barong. Yes, we are Filipinas, and so um, that is one of our traditional. Yes. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for doing that. Um, let's talk a little bit about the misconception that people of AAPI ethnicity uh, don't get cancer. It really is a big misconception, and this is one of the things that we really want to um, get the message out, that we do get skin cancer, we do get basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, and uh, most importantly, we, we also can get the deadly melanoma. And when AAPI um, people get melanoma, they actually have a higher rate of mortality and death because we don't know, we think that it's because of delayed, um, you know, delayed diagnosis. And so it's very important. And with AAPI, we have a lot of discoloration in the skin that happens over time. So to determine which one is benign and which one is suspicious can sometimes be tricky. And so assuming everything is okay and normal can be dangerous. Because they always say, because we have darker skin, that we don't burn and that uh, we don't really need to protect our skin. But that's, that's a misconception as well. Yes. Well, definitely our incidence of skin cancer is lower than, you know, Caucasians. So that's absolutely true. But we definitely still should focus on sun protection. We should still use broad spectrum sunscreen. We should still cover up. And, you know, we really, if there is a growth or pigmentation that is new, you really need to see a board certified dermatologist, get it biopsied. I personally have diagnosed skin cancer on AAPI patients. And you know, that's the thing, you know, the sooner you diagnose it, the better the outcome. Correct, correct. Uh, talk a little bit about some of the conditions and skin conditions for people of AAPI descent. Well, yes, we were talking about pigmentation, so that's probably the number one thing, pigmentary disorder. So melasma, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, and vitiligo is very common and because we do have pigmented skin it is more noticeable and it really can affect you know the psych psychological well-being of patients and we have to be culturally sensitive on how we address it and how we treat this the other thing is eczema or atopic dermatitis we all have it we're meant to be living in humid conditions and now we're here in California and so you know ha having to take care of our skin with moisturization gentle skin care very, very important. And then also um, sensitive sensitivity of our skin and acne. It's a huge problem because when we get acne, we are left with really bad acne scarring. That's discoloration and also indentations and depression in the skin. And so early treatment is really key. And then we talked about skin cancer, of course, is something that we really have to think about and know that it can happen. So do we require um, different treatments treatments than people you know who are not AAPI. Great API. point and that is absolutely true. There's definitely a different way to address different types of treatments and going to a an expert in skin of color or AAPI skin really can make a difference because we know what to look for. We know what products, we know what technology and treatments will be used well and can have safety and efficacy for our skin. All right, and uh, actually, I wanted to talk about your, your screening this month. Yes, yes, yes. So in honor of Skin Cancer Awareness Month, um, we are having a free skin cancer screening, and that is Thursday, May 23. Contact the clinic, and I will personally scan you um, so that, you know, again, early diagnosis is key in skin cancer. Um, with melanoma, if we catch it early enough, 99% uh, five-year uh, survival rate. Once it's metastasized to different organs, that survival rate will go down to 27%. And again, AAPI, we tend to have a higher mortality rate because of delayed diagnosis. So if you have questions, go see a doctor right away. Early Correct. diagnosis is the key. All right, Dr. Tess, thank you so much thank for you. coming into Fox 5 as always.